Hello everyone, this is Karan from IIT Delhi and I welcome all of you to my YouTube channel. So as IIT Jam 2022 is finally over, now only the results are pending but you have your answer keys, you have checked your marks, you know your performance. So now the question which is coming in mind of so many students that whether we should drop for IIT Jam 2023 or not. I will be discussing my opinion, my points uh, on this, whether you should drop or not, why you should take a drop, what are the things you should keep in mind if you are thinking to take a drop and what are the other options if you do not decide to take a drop. So please watch this video completely till the end as it, as it is going to be very, very, very crucial for all of you. But I would say that if at all you have made up your mind that you have to take a drop, you have to study chemistry, you were lacking in the subject that you were not uh, having subject knowledge and if you want to learn chemistry for one more year, then I have some news for all of you. I would like to share that first, then I will be continuing with the discussion that whether you should drop or not. An Academy, India's largest learning platform, has started its new batches for IIT Jam 2023 examination. The batch is Venture Batch for Jam 2023 and the batch number is 7th. We have batches for all the subjects Mathematics, Physics, Chemistry and Biotechnology. So do share the video with all your friends of other subjects as well so that they can also get benefit. So the batch started on 23rd of February 2022 and you can enroll in the batches using the code chemistry. You will get instant 10% discount if you use the code chemistry and all the links are in the description box. You can check them out below. So uh, an academy has one special offer for all of you that is a limited offer that you get additional months on purchase of an academy IIT Jam subscription. That is, if you purchase 12 month subscription, then you get three months extra free. And if you purchase 24 months subscription, you will get four months extra free. So you have to use the code chemistry for getting the 10% discount. And this offer is only valid for 12 and 24 months plus subscription only. And the most important point is it is only valid till today, 25th of February. So please hurry up guys, go and enroll in the batches and start studying chemistry. Okay, the most important point while preparing for your competitive exam is for practice and for this an academy brings BSc 5050 test series on each and every Sunday that we have free MCQ test series 50 questions in uh, 50 questions you have to attempt in 90 minutes the MCQ test series is there and that is completely free of cost. So next test is going to happen on 27th February 2022 that is Sunday at 2 p.m. and you don't have to pay a single rupee for that this is completely free test and you have to give it for practice it will help you a lot in boosting your rank what you have to do you have to only use the code chemistry for enrolling into the test for free of cost and start practicing all your questions attempt the questions within the time limit and improve your speed and accuracy you will get all the links in the description box down below you can check them out and uh, just start your preparation Thank you. So let's start with the point that whether you should take a drop or not. So uh, first of all, I would like to know your reason that basically we know that if we qualify jam with a good rank, we get to do our MSc from IITs or NIDs. So I would like to first know your reason of doing the MSc from IIT or NIT. Why you want to do MSc from the IIT or NIT? I want to know the reason of your why. So first of all, ask this reason to yourself that why you want to or why I want to pursue MSc from the prestigious institutions like IIT or NID. So I would like to say that if there are, there can be three reasons. I will be listing down three reasons that first of all, if you want to do research from abroad, you are highly motivated in or highly interested in research and you want to do your PhD and postdoc from abroad. If you want to do this then you should definitely go to IIT because IITs give you a very good opportunity to give so to pursue PhD abroad. So in that case, you can take a drop if you have to pursue. Your only dream is to pursue PhD from abroad and you couldn't do uh, well in IIT jan this time due to certain circumstances. Any situation can be there, then it can be done, but if you are highly motivated towards PhD from abroad, you can take a drop. 
second reason your entire dream like a uh, dream is to study in iit you always used to dream that i will study in iit main iit jaunga main iit jaunga main iit jaunga bachpan se bachpan se soch rahe ho if your only dream is to क्लियर आई आई टी जाए मैन स्टडी इन आई आई टी इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी लाइक दिन भर नींद नहीं आती और ओनली गोल इन योर लाइफ इज दिस एंड योर सर्कमस्टांसिस कंडीशन फैमिली कंडीशन एवरीथिंग अलाउज यू टू डू सो देन यू कैन टेक अ चांस वंस अगेन बट इन दैट केस यू हैव टू कंसिडर दैट यू आर समेयर यू आर सम वन दैट हु डजेंट लैक मच नॉलेज और मच लाइक इज नॉट केयरलेस अबाउट केमिस्ट्री देन यू कैन टेक दिस चांस ऑफ वन ईयर Now coming on to the third point, if you want to go into the coaching sector, because ed tech platforms, coaching sector platforms, uh, always have like IITians or NITians always have a better edge in the coaching field. So if you are someone who is willing to make your career in this field, then you can take a drop so that you get to add IIT in front of your name. Okay, And that is the point. That is the point. If these three are the conditions, you can think to take a drop. But if these three are not the conditions, you just want to do your MSc, you just want to get done with everything, or if you want to do PhD from India, then you can avoid taking a drop. I'm not saying that you cannot get a PhD from abroad by studying in some Indian university, Central University. Definitely, you can. In that case, your efforts will matter. Your extra efforts, how extra efforts you made, how much internships did you do, how much internships did you do, how much research experience do you gain in your MSc within two years of MSc. But if you have uh, your degree from IIT, then you are actually having some advantage, and the task becomes easier for you. Okay. So now, now, if the reason is something else, then I would say don't take a drop. Don't take a drop. You can. Pursue your masters. Prepare for MSc entrances of various very good universities like Delhi University, Banaras Hindu University, that is BHU, CU Set, HCU. So many good universities are there that you can prepare for. Okay, so uh, that is the first point you should think about. Next point is if you are thinking to take a drop, first of all, be mentally prepared. Think about the mental preparation that whether you. can whether you are someone who can take a one year gap and study continuously chemistry and prepare for an exam and you, can you be consistent can you spend your so much of energy for studying chemistry for one more year learning the subject in a better way if you can then only take this uh, take this risk or take this year otherwise don't take a drop because you are not some iit jam will not give you a job directly it will give you a Place to study a course for particular two years. If that is the case, then only go for it. That's not necessary. Every child will take a chance to study chemistry. Every child will take a chance to study chemistry. Each person, each uh, each human being has some unique talent in it, unique passion in it. Identify that first of all. If It's not the rat race that you have to go into the IIT. Okay, so first of all, uh, because people cannot, you can you can lie to your parents, you can lie to your uh, friends, anyone, teachers, but you cannot lie to yourself. So first, introspect yourself why you want to do this, whether and whether you can. If you cannot, then don't risk it for any one saying, and don't take a decision out of your ego. Okay, ego me decision nahi lena hai. Achhe se analyze karna hai is ko. Okay, now, now. third point i would like to mention that if at all you decide to drop i will be considering both the situations if you are deciding to take a drop don't start dreaming don't like be so much relaxed that abhi to ek saal hai otherwise again next year you will be thinking that whether i, sh- I will be, you will be coming to me bhaiya fir se kharab ho gaya paper nahi if you are deciding to take a drop stop all the distractions because already you have given your one year so just start preparing again revise your notes once again revise your notes once again no need to go somewhere else and if you want to go for somewhere else also now if at all now if at all uh, like you want to take a drop then don't start day dreaming don't just be relaxed ki abhi to ek saal hai warna fir se you will be coming to me and saying ki bhaiya paper kharab ho gaya so don't stop uh, like uh, sorry don't start day dreaming don't start uh, being so lazy just cut off all your distractions and start studying sincerely and if you are not taking a drop and preparing for msc entrances just revise your jam notes revise whatever you have studied till now in your graduation see what are the topics extra in the msc entrance syllabus because some of the toss and topics are extra i'll make a detailed video on this and also take to uh, take a look at the previous year questions 
so this is what i have uh, to say on this point whether you should drop or not this is, these are my views uh, do comment down your opinion also and uh, we will see you in the later video till then stay tuned with chemistry with karan thank you so much